you know on a further note I thought I would go ahead and um, introduce this kukri because um, I just happened to be um, cooking some pieces of a uh, of um, beef brisket and um, leg lamb and one of the tools that I use to um, you know and anybody who's dealt with lamb before knows just how tough and thick lamb can really get I mean it's a very you know it's I would say it's even tougher than uh, beef or you know cow whatever but uh one of the tools that I use aside from, you know, um, I had, you know, I had my cold steel uh, boar hunter knife and I had a meat cleaver, which, you know, those little rabbit chops weren't doing anything to that, that thing. It, it took something as heavy, heavy duty and reliable as this um, here British Army Service kukri in order to um, hack these two legs of lamb and this uh, beef brisket that I have I'm about to show you all the pieces so let me um, pull that out to show y'all what that looks like in a sec. all right so this is pretty much the uh, the weapon that I used in order to basically uh, do this here uh, let me show y'all and it's no filter no bullshit when I show y'all that my uh, British Army Service kukri did this it did this and it did this it took these pieces of lamb and, and uh, beef and hacked them to bits for the most, I mean, and some of the, a lot of these still got a uh, bone intact to them. Yeah, some of these are, you know, pretty much overcooked, so I'm gonna have to take those off ASAP, pretty much. But, you know, I just wanted to present evidence, concrete evidence, as far as what these weapons are capable of. They're, um, you know, I would say they're even more reliable than axes because I've been meaning to get some cold steel axes or, you know, hawks rather, hatchets for some time. But, um, and I still will, but, you know, it's, it's other things that, you know, I'm prioritizing like more of um, Himalayan imports um, weapons because they have this knife called the Shiva knife which is supposed to be a vicious thing and once I get it I'll definitely um, present it on YouTube you know for the world to see but like I said I, I can't recommend these kukris enough um, I can't speak for other kukri companies but when it comes to you know their competitors Himalayan Imports is supposed to be the state of the art and hey I'm sold because you saw what it did to um, these two legs of lamb and beef brisket that I had and like I said within even with the toughest parts of that lamb I was able to cleave through it within you know three chops and I wasn't going full force as you know a butcher would probably recommend against anyway so so this is the uh, British Army Service I know in the last video I kind of had it confused with the World War II um, Kukri. The last one was indeed the World War II Kukri. But you can all get these at uh, Himalayan Imports. Catch y'all in the next video. I'm out.